So today we're heading to downtown Brooklyn because I'm meeting my friend Ahmed Siddiq. <laughs> and we're gonna take some photos around the city, enjoy the vibes. We're enjoying the sun, enjoying framing people. I tried to frame people inside the reflections and it turned out really dope. And I was really lucky to take the photo at the right time and frame the firefighter in the window. That photo turned out really great. And we're trying to figure out a way to get under the bridge. We found this pathway for the bikes. A biker even liked us and gave us a peace sign. That's dope. Bikers with their blue bikes, looking dope, looking dope. I really like this photo, the lady walking and the no walking sign, the symmetry in that, it just beautiful. Took some photos for the gram, man, why not? I really love the shadows and the lights and framing people under passages. This is really funny, you know, the dude walking his dogs on a one wheel. Yeah, that's New York for you, man. We found the Manhattan Bridge. <laughs> the tourists, the doggies, and the cars, all looking beautiful. It's almost one o'clock, so we're gonna take a little break, enjoy the view. I wanted to take a big panorama of the bridge. It really turned out really dope. I might hang it on my wall someday. People always notice us taking photos around the city, so they ask us to take their photo, which is always a pleasure. Ooh, el cafilia. El cafilia. <laughs> After having ice cream, it's almost three o'clock. Now we're heading home and <laughs> How are you again? <laughs> So after I came home relaxed and had some water, I realized that I took my 10,000 photo that day. And I realized 10,000 photos might be a lot for some people, you know. They say your first 10,000 photos are your worst. And yes, your first 10,000 photos might be the worst, but that doesn't make you automatically better after your first 10,000 photos. But it's the accumulation of your experience over the 10, thousand photos that you took you can apply that to everything that you're going through like for example that painting that i drew this took me two days to make and coming from a background that has nothing to do with actually drawing or painting it was very difficult for me to do but i learned and that's the thing you learn you practice the thing you try to do your best at the thing you google you research on youtube how to mix colors and how to do the perfect brush strokes and yes you try to take from the experiences from the past artists that perceived you and that, that did the thing before you but you need to choose your own path and do your own art and try to do your own thing because in the end, your experience is going to be different. Your life is different because if you copy pasted everything that someone else did before you, you would just be a copy. You will not be unique. You will not be original and you will never be yourself. And that's the thing that I try to focus on all the time is not comparing myself to other people and other people's achievements, but comparing myself to myself from yesterday. And that's the thing that you need to be proud of your work. You need to be proud of the thing that you produced 
to the world or even produced for yourself and enjoy every part of the process from the thought to the execution, learning more and more and to be more proud of the things that you did and proud of your past that taught you and that brought you to this day in the present. And it's not about copying stuff is bad and having whatever original ideas requires you to do it yourself. No, 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 no. You can take all the experiences, you can take all the things that you consume from other artists, that you consume from movies, from music, from theater. And you take all the things that you like and try to make something similar, but in your own style. Try to take the same ingredients and make the same meal, but add your own spice, add your own flavor, have your own taste in food. Why are we talking about food? I just ate, I'm not that hungry, but you get the idea. And you know what I'm saying? That everything is a remix from something. If you look at music, it's all taken from old music, remixes, new takes, and they even use old samples from old music to create. And it's the same thing with movies. Quentin Tarantino, for example, copies a lot of sceneries from old movies and old directors that he admires. And if you look at the shots, they're the same exact shot but it's a different story it's a different genre it's a different take on the same thing but he's doing it on his own way he's adding his own twist he's adding his own flavor and taste to the thing that he's producing you can do the same thing and there is no shame in copying there is no shame in copying the people that you admire the work that you love the things that you want to see until you reach your own voice, until you reach your own flavor and simply put your 10,000 hours of work in your 10,000 photos, your 10,000 sketches, your 10... We have a saying in Sudanese, Repetition teaches the clever. And for me, as a video creator, I use the motto, write, shoot, edit, repeat. Write your videos, shoot them, edit them, and repeat the process. This is how I get to where I am today and this is how I'm doing it with photography as well. I plan my shoots, I go out, I take photos, I edit them photos, I post them and I repeat the process. And I understand that these days success is tied to the number of likes, the number of views, the number of people actually sharing and consuming your content. But success to me is doing the things that I love, repeating the process until I am happy with the results. What about you? Tell me about your 10,000 hours of work that you put in in the thing that you love down in the comments below or are you in the process of doing 10,000 hours of photography, 10,000 hours of video editing or whatever art that you were doing? Tell me all of that in the comments below. My name is Ma'ad Osman. Thank you very much for watching and thanks to all the great people that keep supporting this content and keeping it free for us to enjoy. My name is Ma'ad Osman. Salaam Alaikum.